What is up guys, Jav here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in our video today, we're taking a look at what is possibly the best 720 RPM auto rifle in Destiny 2. So if you want to find out which one it is and the sort of role that you want to be going after, this is the video for you. Now, if you enjoy the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new around here, I want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay, guys, let's jump into the video. Now, alongside the launch of Season 10, Season of the Worthy, as we know, we saw a massive uplift in the use in auto rifles and specifically the 600 round per minute archetype. We've covered a lot of those on the channel, the Galliard, for example, the Noring Hunger, and even the Kinetic Ether Doctor, and all fantastic within their own right, if you can get the right roles. Now, today we're taking a look at a 720 RPM auto rifle. This is the Valakaden. This is the one that I currently have, and this is only obtainable through the gunsmith over at the tower. So be sure to hand in those gunsmith materials for a chance at getting one. Now to break down my role in more detail, as you can see I have high caliber rounds. This is where shots from this weapon knock the target back further and slightly increase the range. Alongside that I also have Outlaw. This is where precision kills greatly decrease the reload speed. This is a rapid fire frame auto rifle as well. So it has deeper ammo reserves anyway and has a slightly faster reload when the magazine is empty. So whether you have an empty magazine or if you get a precision kill, you're always pretty much guaranteed a fast reload. And that pairs perfectly with the final perk so on my one here i have kill clip this is where reloading after a kill grants increased damage now i'm sure you'll agree this is a very good role but it's most definitely not the god role and there's a few reasons for that now the 720 rpm archetype and this weapon in particular has an optimal time to kill of 0.77 seconds that's almost as good as a 600 rpm auto rifle at 0.7 now with that in mind do you need a perk like kill clip to further reduce your time to kill it is most definitely nice to have but it won't make the gun as consistent as you need it to be inside the crucible and with that all being said what sort of role is it that we're looking for then on the vatican then for it to be the most optimal time to kill weapon inside the crucible that is consistent when you use it but it's going to need a combination of additional range because it only comes with a range stat of 35 also any boosts to stability will also help with its consistency now this has barrel options rather than scope options which is similar to some of the guns we've covered previously here on the channel so to give this one a little bit of love you'll be looking at something like chamber compensator which provides 10 to your recall and stability stats and only a minus five to your handling the other alternative to that is corkscrew rifling, which boosts your range by five, your stability by five, and your handling by five. So if you can get corkscrew rifling in the barrel option, you're providing benefits to all the key elements of this weapon. Now in the second column, you have a few choices. High caliber rounds is a nice choice because again, it boosts your range by plus five. And the winner here is ricochet rounds. This is where rounds ricochet off hard surfaces, but also provide an increase to your stability of plus 10 and a slight increase to your range of plus five. So again, benefiting two key stats on this weapon. Now moving on to the main perks, you have a great perk pool to choose from. Better options than a lot of the weapons that we've covered here previously on the channel. Obviously, tap the trigger is a great option on this weapon. This provides a short period of of increased stability and accuracy on your initial trigger pull. You also have dynamic sway reduction available where holding down the trigger, this weapon's sway reduction systems boost its accuracy over time, which is fantastic for a weapon with such a large magazine as this one, but also one that fires as fast as this. But for me, as long as you've got either one of those perks, you will be in a very strong place moving on to the final column. Now the final column again has fantastic choice. You can have range finder. Again, this is where aiming a weapon increases its effective range and zoom magnification. That will help boost its default range of 23 feet, which is very low. If you can increase that stat, you'll be pushing closer towards the 30 feet mark. But that being said, if you prefer those extra damage dealing perks, then rampage is definitely an option on this gun where kills with this weapon temporarily increase its damage, which stacks up to three times, but also kill clip where reloading after a kill grants increased damage now for me any one of those perks will serve you well but if you can get something like tap the trigger or range finder or dynamic sway and range finder with ricochet rounds then you've probably got one of the most consistent 720 rpm or trifles currently available in destiny 2 and with a time to kill of 0.77 seconds it's very competitive against its 600 rpm counterparts so all in all, an extremely competitive weapon, a one worth chasing out. If you've got excess gunsmith materials in your inventory, then be sure to hand them into Banshee over at the gunsmith to see if you can get your hands on one. But let me know what roles you have in the comment section below and how you get on with yours. 
Now, if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new around here, I want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.